Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing the early spring decorating, this time heading into my living room space. I figured the best way to start this video off was actually to start off with a completely blank slate. So that way you guys can see how I'll add in different layers to bring in the coziness, bring some warmth and texture into our space. And it gives a more accurate representation if you are starting off from scratch, how I build upon it. Now we do have one big change in the living room space. If you watch my winter home tour video or any videos before that, we actually swapped out our curtains. We got these beautiful brown linen ones from two pages. They're just a perfect way of bringing in some more warmth and coziness in the space, but are still a neutral color palette. I like to treat my curtains and rugs the same. I think that they should be something that I can use all year round. If I want to change it up, that's fine, but I don't go in a seasonal direction with those two items. They are foundational core items to me. If I feel like changing it, I can do it, but I don't need to. And so I think that way you get a little bit more out of your investment. Those things are not cheap but you're gonna get more use out of them if you pick something that is more neutral based or just has the colors that can pull in all sorts of directions. Like our living room rug does tend to be on the lighter side of things. However, there's still some darker tones within it that pull in different directions. And so I can use it all year round. I can use it when I'm looking to do something darker for the winter season and such. So I'm excited to Get started with you guys and let's get right into it. Now, as far as pillow covers, I did buy all new pillow covers besides for a couple that I DIY'd last year. I have really been trying to source something that was floral without being very bright and Eastery. And I came across this account on Instagram and it is a, to a T exactly what I was looking for. These are a little bit of an investment. They're not quite, well, they're kind of closer to the Pottery Barn scale of things, but they haven't exceeded that. These are absolutely gorgeous. I, I've just been drooling looking at them. So they are these beautiful floral print reversible pillow covers. So they have this beautiful neutralish floral side and then you can flip it around and it has this beautiful burgundy velvet pattern to it so you're getting two prints in one pillow which I think is absolutely this so so smart and I just have never seen anything quite like it so I am going to be using the more neutral side of this for my spring decorating, maybe when summer rolls around, I'll flip it to the red side. We'll see how I feel about that. But the ones that I really, really gravitated towards are this beautiful, like mossy green color. And then this one is also reversible as well. It has a more muted marigold kind of pattern to it. But these are so incredibly stunning and they just, absolutely pulled the direction that I wanted for the space to a T. I could not make this up myself if I even tried. So I did grab a few of these so that way I could have them paired together because this mossy green one is more neutral and simplistic. And this one has a lot of movement and character to it. So I was super excited about these. They do have one other pattern color. It is a yellow on one side and almost like a blue sea foamy kind of color on the other one. I will have them linked in the video description so you guys can check them out. But I thought they were so incredibly beautiful and I was really excited about them. So for early spring decorating, I do still like to use my faux fur throw blankets. I am going to just use this cream one so that way I'm not overwhelming the space but I'm still bringing in lots of texture and a cozy element. I 
I love how these pillow covers make such a beautiful statement moment without overwhelming the space. They still bring that welcoming, cozy feel, and I love the more neutral pattern against the more colorful one. The larger one is 22 by 22 inches, and the smaller one is 18 by 18. And these lighter brown pillows, I actually DIY'd using some fabric from Hobby Lobby. Now for this end table, I want to add a vase down here. This one is super affordable from Walmart actually. They came out with a smaller version last year that I did pick up. This is the bigger one. And it was actually the perfect size to fit in here. I love the texture that it has. Again, super affordable. I will have this linked in the video description. And then I'm gonna grab these stems. These were actually from fall at Michael's. They did come out with a lighter green version of these for spring, but I thought that with the muted color tones we have happening in the pillows, this perfectly grabs that darker green color that they have and everything else is fairly neutral in the space. So I wanted to just give a little bit of greenery. And on the top, I have this faux book box all about flowers, which is perfect for springtime. And then I actually went antique shopping at the Depot and came across this candle holder. And it's kind of a smaller version of that cool candelabra I had found at a different one. So I thought that this was a cool moment, even without any candles in it. Now on this corner table, I really love to have a stack of books to just kind of help ground the space. Obviously I like to look through them too because they have lots of inspiration and stuff. So I have The Art of Home by Shea McGee and then I have this interior design book as well. That's a different color to again, just bring in some variation. And then I have this jar, jug, <laughs> handled jug that I had found antique shopping with a couple of seeded eucalyptus stems in it. And then I did find another one of those beautiful brass baskets. So I figured we can add that in to help tie in the brass for the lamp above and just give a little difference in color tone that we have already happening here. Over on this side table, we're going to add this linen book box I DIY'd. And then I found this milk jug antique shopping as well. And I have some dried baby's breath in here. And the last touch will be adding this brass rocking horse. Moving on to the coffee table, I'm using my go-to reclaimed wood tray. For our arrangement, I wanted to switch things up. I keep using that Hobby Lobby vase and there's nothing wrong with liking what you have and just leaving it as is. But I just wanted a little bit of change in a subtle way. I thought that this was so beautiful. This one is older from Target. It's a smoked glass green vase. And I figured that this was the perfect color tone to tie in these pillows here in a more subtle way. So this one, I just absolutely love. And to the vase, we are going to be adding in some more of the magnolia stems that are my go-to from Michael's. This will help tie in the entry space since it's directly behind here. You obviously don't need to be using the exact same florals all throughout your home, but my entry space is basically in my living room and having complementary florals, even like the baby's breath is a subtle cream color 
just makes more cohesion happen in the space. And these ones are a statement moment. We have a very big vase, so I don't want to have a very heavy arrangement sitting in it. And these ones take a more dainty approach. And so that's why I wanted to go for this. Brings in a pop of color. We have a lot of brown and beige happening. So we wanted to have something a little different that still tied in and balanced out the space. Now I found this candle holder at the depot yesterday and I absolutely love it. I love how wide the foot base is for it. And I have a faux candle here. I wanna find something a little bit shorter preferably, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna do this one. And then I had seen Chris Loves Julia take a gold box and put Polaroid pictures in it and I thought it was so so cool so I'm going to put this here and we'll add in some photos that we have lying around the house but I thought that this was a great way of tying in some of the brass elements that we have throughout the room. So now we are moving on to the finishing touches and swapping out my art is definitely one of them. These are very winter themed. I like to have a bunch of different options to choose from and I picked up a couple of digital downloads and I've shown you guys before a really easy way of elevating your digital downloads is actually taking Mod Podge. I like to get it in the matte finish and using a paintbrush and painting the Mod Podge on. And then from there, you can kind of go add some more texture, kind of dab the brush and do brush strokes to mimic branches and grass and all the different elements of the piece. And it gives it a more art-like approach, rather it being just a digital download that you picked up. So I will have both of the ones I picked out down below. I have this beautiful one of a lady sitting with a rose bush and then a horse print because naturally I'm going to do that. <laughs> so we are going to change these out for a subtle but seasonal touch to the space. Just wanted to say a quick thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. On Wednesday, I've officially been on YouTube for two years and it has been such an amazing journey. I've loved sharing our home decorating and projects with you all, getting to know you, and I just appreciate each and every one of your ongoing support and kindness. It means so very much, so thank you. Now this basket I really like because it adds some texture to the wall without being anything too busy. I have art over there so I don't want to put more art here and I have a mirror behind me. So I thought that the basket was a perfect way of filling this void but also not cluttering the space. And I love to add seasonal greenery to it so I have these same seeded eucalyptus stems I used on the smaller jug right by it. And the last touch to the living room space, I'm going to be adding this beautiful wreath. Dawn from Hickory Lane Wreaths sent me this last spring and I've been so excited to break it back out and hang it up in the space. It's got a lot of greenery and just a little bit of the white florals in it. And I think it's perfect for early spring decorating. And here is a finished look at how the space came together. I love how cozy and all the warmth that we brought into the space and just making this subtle curtain color change really added so much dimension to the room.
that is going to wrap up today's video friends. I sure hope you enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration. I absolutely love how the spaces come together. Spring and summer, if I'm being totally honest with you, as much as I love to decorate for them, they are not my favorite seasons to decorate for. Fall and winter take that by a landslide for me. So I think that this styling really is just what I've been needing and have been lacking in my previous spring decorating and just bringing that more cozy and moody kind of vibe, but in a lighter way. And I feel like this was the perfect way to marry all of that together. The addition of the new curtains brings so much warmth into the space and just, I love how it's all come together. If you guys missed my early spring entryway decorating video, I will have that linked down below. We are still going to be going all throughout my home and just redecorating all the spaces after taking all the winter stuff down. So you have plenty more inspiration coming your way. If you guys are not subscribed already, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my YouTube family and be sure to ding that notification bell. It will alert you anytime I have a new upload. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.